Celtics will keep their edge. Vujicic. The final minute of this NBA season. Celtics will cap off 13 and 1 at home. The crowd has been just tremendous, so rejuvenated by these new look Celtics. House fires up a three. And Cole pushed off. So we'll come down the other way, shoot a couple of free throws with a half minute remaining. And the hearts continue for those two. I guess Gatorade has now come into the NBA. Is that super five? <laughs> so a final timeout with 30 seconds remaining. What a performance for the Boston Celtics here in game six. Tommy Heinsohn has seen so many championships in his days. The now Celtic broadcaster. See his pride. John Havlicek. Another finals MVP. They've been here throughout the playoffs, throughout the regular season. And of course, the great Bill Russell. 11 of the 16. He was a champion. And soon a new banner will be raised to the Raptors. And the first one here in this new guard called the TD Back North Garden. It's a tremendous celebration. The Lakers will shoot some free throws. Doc Rivers' son. Of the family joining along the sidelines. Hedrick Perkins return after that shoulder injury. It all started back on draft night with the acquisition of Allen. Got him from Seattle, and then Garnett from Minnesota. That was July 31st. That was the big move from Danny Ainge. And then Cozy signed, House signed, and it all came together. Celtics can't dribble it out. There'll be some time left on the shot clock as this crowd ready to roar when the final buzzer sounds. There's a 24 second violation. And after a 22 year absence, the Boston Celtics are NBA champions once again. The greatest single season history is complete. Number 17, soon to be raised to the Raptors. Let's go to Michelle Tafoya. I have been usurped, but Kevin, 11 time All Star, League MVP, Defensive Player of the Year. Now it's time to add to your resume. 
resume, NBA champion. How does that sound? Man, I'm so, I'm so hyped right now. Anything's possible. Anything's possible! Minnesota. It's for everybody in Chicago. VV. It's for everybody. South Cag. Basswood. My mama be there. See everybody right now. Oh, my mama. Oh, my mama made it, man. Top of the world. Top of the world. Kevin. You have no idea. What does top of the world feel like, Kevin? Man, I'm so, I'm so happy right now. I'm not finna sleep for a week. <laughs> I'm not finna. Ray Allen had a great game. Paul Pierce, everybody. I can't even take all this, man, but I'm certified. I'm certified. You see how you look good tonight, girl. <laughs> Wait, what, good. One more, Kevin. To do this, you talked about Minnesota, you talked about that, but to do this in Boston with a franchise this story against a franchise like the Lakers. What does that mean to you? You're a student of the game. You have to understand where you come here. It's a lot of responsibility that comes with putting this, putting this great jersey on. I'm just happy that we carried our tradition. What you gonna say now? What can you say now? Made it, Bob! <laughs> Kevin Garnett, NBA champion, with 11-time champion, Bill Russell. They have formed a terrific friendship this season. And all the players that come to Boston, you can't help but be engulfed by the history, the most successful and storied history in the NBA. We'll take a break, but we'll have the championship trophy awarded coming up here in Boston Doc Rivers head coach of the NBA champion Boston Celtics gets drenched with a Gatorade and Kevin Garnett says thank you an unbelievable debut year here in Boston the big three with their championship Ready for the championship celebration and ceremony. Let's go to PA announcer Eddie Palladino. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to please direct your attention to center court for the presentation of the Larry O'Brien Trophy and the 2008 NBA Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Please welcome ABC's Stuart Scott. Thank you, Eddie, very much, and congratulations to a franchise that will raise a 17th banner in the Raptors here at the new Boston Garden. Now, here to present the Larry O'Brien Trophy to the Boston Celtics NBA Commissioner David Stern. The Lakers were a worthy Western Conference champion, but there can only be one, and the 2008 NBA champion for the 17th time a record is your Boston Celtics. Someplace, somewhere, Red is lighting up a cigar, and congratulations. Congratulations to Wick and Irv Grosbeck, their fellow managing partners, Steve Pagliuca and Bob Epstein, to Danny Ainge, Doc Rivers, the entire Boston team, the entire Boston organization, and this wonderful city of Boston. 
So let's give him the trophy. The first Celtic championship since 1986. Let's get co-owner Wick Gross back in here. Wick, last year the Celtics had the worst record in the East. What amazes you the most about right now being a champion? It's the fans of Boston who stuck with us. This win is for Red Auerbach. Red, Red believed in our ownership group. He believed in Paul Pierce, Danny Ainge, and Doc Rivers. We got it done. Thanks, KG. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, everybody. It's for the fans of Boston and Red. Thank you very much, Wick. Congratulations. Where is the coach? Where is Doc Rivers? Doc, when you got these collection of guys together, training camp, your first meeting with them, what did you tell them? Defense. I said defense. We, we, we play defense, we're going to win a world championship, and that's exactly what they did. They were phenomenal all year. They played like a team all year. You as a player and a coach have been in over 1,500 NBA games. This is your first championship. When you saw the clock hit triple zero, what was the first thought that ran through your mind? Well, my first thought of my dad, obviously. So, uh, it's the first thing I thought about, Stu, so just long year, you know, miss him. But that was my first thought. What would you do if your dad, Grady, were here right now, what would he say to you? Well, John, and it's about time. <laughs> That's what he would say. It's about time. Congratulations, Doc Rivers. If you look up the word class in the dictionary, you'll see a picture of you. Now here to present the NBA Finals Most Valuable Player Award for 2008, we welcome back in Commissioner David Stern. Almost 22 points a game averaged. Four and a half rebounds a game, six over six assists. It is the truth. The MVP of the 2008 NBA Finals is Paul Pierce. about winning a championship. How does the dream compare with reality? Uh, this is unreal. This is unreal, just where we came from a year ago, where I was at. Uh, to be here today, celebrating with my teammates, putting a stamp on what a great year it was this year. I'm just happy that Doc, the ownership, my teammates, everybody, the, the city of Boston stuck with me throughout all the hard times. I know we didn't have a lot of great years, but you guys right here, you guys stuck with me. And now we bring home champion 17. Yeah! yeah! In the offseason, Paul, you guys acquired Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen. What was the biggest adjustment you had to make? Uh, I knew I was going to be able to play with other great players, so I didn't feel like it was a big adjustment. I just knew if I had some other guys that I could play with, that uh, I'd be able to... Uh, I'll be able to make the adjustment. I mean, when I'm out there on the court, I'm playing with inexperience. You know, everybody get caught up and say how selfish I was. But once these guys get here, I knew I had guys that could play. And so I just continued to play a floor game, took less shots, and sacrificed for the good of the team. Congratulations again to the finals MVP, Paul Pierce. Where is Ray Allen? Ray Allen, come here. Ray Allen, come here. Come talk to me. 
Pierce is the captain of the team. Kevin Garnett is the emotional leader of the team. Yet when both were asked earlier this year who they would want to take the championship winning shot, they both said you. What does that mean? We just have a great balance here in this lineup between those two guys. It, it just seems like everything's worked out all year. We respect each other, and we're here sitting on championship 17. Thank you, Boston. You were in an awful slump shooting earlier in the playoffs. You got it right it for the finals. What did you go through inside when nothing seemed to be able to drop? I just stayed to my preparation. I didn't change it. One thing I did, I know uh, teams were trying to take me out of, out of the offense, but I just wanted to make sure that I did everything to make this team better, and, you know, it just kicked in for me uh, late in the Detroit series. Ray Allen ties an NBA Finals record with seven three-pointers in the game. Congratulations, Ray. Congratulations once again to the 2008 NBA champion Boston Celtics. Mike Breen, let's throw it back to you. Certainly nobody wants to leave here at the TD Back North Garden after witnessing one of the great performances in NBA Finals history here in this clinching game six. And the most successful franchise in league history is back on top again. The Celtics defeat the Lakers four games to two Kobe Bryant MVP of the regular season but he went up against a formidable defense the Celtic defense gave him his struggles here Kobe Bryant though was classy and thanking all of the Boston Celtics as Danny Ainge gets the thanks he's the one that put this team together he won a couple of championships here as a player now as their executive Kevin Garnett said he's not going to sleep for a long time as he celebrates his first NBA title. As these Celtics enjoying each other and enjoying their family as they celebrate another Boston championship. And perhaps no one happier than Paul Pierce as he thanked the crowd for sticking with him through all the ups and downs. We'll be back after this timeout.